the topic is com- being compelled by the spirit of god being compelled compelled by the spirit of god the bible says mtu anaweza uliza what is to be compelled to be compelled is to constrain someone in some way to yield or to do what one wishes praise the lord sio kwako unaweza elewa kukua compelled ni nini lakini kukua compelled is like something that is beyond you that is forcing you to do something praise the lord ni kama sahi nikakwambia nataka unipeleke mahali na uwe kabisa hautaki kwenda kuna strategy nitatumia ya kukukompel mpaka ukubali kunipeleka sio kama umeelewa hivyo na kwa hivyo roho mtakatifu kuna kitu huwa anafanya mtu anakufanya ufanye kitu haikukuwa we umepanga haikukuwa mapenzi yako hawi ni kitu ambayo si, si, kabisa si nguvu yako lakini kuna force ambayo inakuvuta kufanya kitu ambacho huko umepanga kufanya ama ama kitu hacha kiko beyond your control praise the lord na siku ya leo ninaomba ya kwamba may the holy spirit compel you to do things that are beyond your ability katika jina la Yesu Kristo nikitaka tu tu tusome some few verses because i would it's ni vizuri uone kama kuna watu walikuwa compelled lakini ningetaka tufunguliwe kwenye kitabu cha acts chapter acts chapter acts chapter 20 verse 22 acts chapter 20 verse 22 kitabu cha acts ukitaka kukisoma kujua mambo ya roho mtakatifu soma kitabu cha acts kwa sababu ina hakuna page yenye iko kwenye kitabu cha acts haijaguza jina roho mtakatifu ama the spirit of god the bible says and see now i go bound in the spirit to jerusalem not knowing the things that will happen to me there maybe you can check for another verse that have the word except and see now i go bound in the spirit to jerusalem not knowing the things that will happen to me there i don't know whether you have a verse that has a, the word compel or nyingi zinaongea kuhusu bound zingine zinaongea and now i'm bound by the spirit to go to jerusalem i don't know what awaits me there i want you to see hapa ni paul alikuwa anaongea the bible says but there is another agency before me now i feel compelled to go to jerusalem i'm completely in the dark about what will happen when i get there siku ya leo nataka uone huyu ni paul alikuwa anaongea i love this english it's so easy biblia inasema but there is another agency before me now i feel very compelled to go to jerusalem i'm completely in the dark about what will happen when i get there na kwa hivyo paul alikuwa anafaa ende jerusalem alikuwa anakumbuka jerusalem siku nzuri kulikuwa na prison na mambo mengi mazito alikuwa ame anajua yako huko na alikuwa ameamua na anasikia kitu ambacho kiko beyond his control na anasema i feel compelled by the spirit of god to go to jerusalem siku ya leo ninakuombea kitu kile Mungu anataka ufanye i pray that you shall feel the compulsion katika jina la Yesu kitu ambacho it's beyond you kitu ambacho si si hata hujui we mwenyewe huwezi elewa hata mtu akakwambia usifanye hivyo hauwezi msikia mimi nawaombea roho mtakatifu awe aje kwenu awa compel mambo katika jina la Yesu kama kuna mahali unafaa uende ninaomba ya kwamba hausipate amani tena mpaka ufike huko katika jina la Yesu. Kuna maombi huwa naombea watu ambao wamekataa Mungu. Ama mtu ambaye amekataa kufanya kitu huwa naomba Mungu usimpatie amani mpaka afanye hii na hii ambayo najua ni mapenzi yako kwake. Katika jina la Yesu. Do you know you can pray such a prayer? Do you know when you feel you are at ease? I mean, unasikia wasiwasi, unasikia hauko comfortable, hauna amani. It shows the spirit of God want you to do something. Na kwa hivyo ndio maana hauwezi tulia na hauna amani. Siku ya leo ninakuombea Roho Mtakatifu ashuke kwako na kufanya uwe na hiyo compassion, uwe na hii kitu inakuvuta kabisa na ujue ni Roho Mtakatifu na ufanye vile unafaa kufanya katika jina la Yesu. Na kwa hivyo huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa anasema, "Jerusalem I have to go there by fire by force. I don't care and I do. The Bible even says that I'm completely in the dark about what will happen when I get there. But the compassion yenye niko nayo itabidi nifike mpaka huko." Mimi nawaombea siku ya leo Roho Mtakatifu awapatie such a thing in the, in the mighty name of Jesus that you shall be constrained to do something that is according to the will of God through a divine force that is so uncontrollable to you 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible also says in the book of Acts chapter 18 verse 5 is a strategy that the, that, that the, the spirit of God can use and I pray that it will it will work also in your life. The Bible says when Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was able to give all his time to preaching and teaching, doing everything he could do to persuade the Jews that Jesus was in fact God's Messiah. Do you see that? The Bible says when Simon Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was able to give all his time to preaching and teaching, doing everything he could he could to persuade the Jews that Jesus was in fact God's Messiah. I want you to see something. Paul alikuwa anafanya huduma akiwa na hiyo compel, akiwa anasukumwa na kitu ambacho yeye mwenyewe it's beyond his control. Na Biblia inasema he was able to give all his time preaching and teaching. Bona asifiwe. Mimi nakuombea siku ya leo, Mungu afanye uwe na so much dedication to something as a result of being compelled by the spirit. Katika jina la Yesu. I don't know whether it's somebody that is understanding what I want to see to me. Lakini nataka ujue one sign that you are compelled by the spirit of God is by dedication, by something that you 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 are so dedicated to. Praise the Lord. Kuna siku wakati nilikuwa Nairobi kuna msichana not msichana it was a woman that gone born again na nakumbuka nili mimi nilimleta kanisani vile unaweza kuta tu mtu haendaki kanisa mwambie kuja twende kanisa letu kanisa letu ni mzuri na ukienda huko uta naona utapenda kanisa letu hata siku mwambie utakuja utaokoka huko nimwambie tu we just come to our church and you shall be blessed tukiwa tu kanisani nikaona amekuja mara ya kwanza kama vile mtu anaweza kuja ibada ya lunch hour alikuwa nasikia neno unaona anafungua macho ni kama hajaisikia kitu kama hiyo kukaa wakati mhubiri alisema watu wa kuokoka nikaona tu ametokea after few days ametokea akaombe akaokoka na kitu ambayo ilinifurahisha after ameokoka i'm telling you the life of that woman changed in a way that even at work watu wali notice there is a big change do you know the reason why she did huyo mwanamke alikuwa anakuja kanisani mapema. Unaona kama vile ibada inaanza 12:30, yeye alikuwa anaingia kama saa 5. Na ameokoka juzi, lakini ataka kona moja aanze kuomba. Anaomba, anaomba. Hata masaa ya lunch atasimama akisikia microphone imechukuliwa na mwenye anaongoza ibada. Akiwa kanisani unasikia tu moyo unatoka. Hata mahubiri kihubiri ameshindwa kunyamaza. Sasa nina nina imagine huyo ametoka tu juzi tu kwa dunia. Lakini amejazwa na amejazwa. Roho intercession ni kod nyingi sana kwake. Do you know what she was telling me? Ananiambia mimi ni, macho hata inakuwa red. Halali usiku, ananiambia mimi naenda kulala kidogo, ninasikia tu maombi inatoka. Akaanza kuomba. Huyo that that woman ame aliingiwa na roho ya intercession. Na kukiwa na kesha, hakuna kesha amewahi kosa. And do you know what has become of that woman? God has started using her. Hakuwa najua ni force gani na force anaingia kwa maombi hivyo. Na kwa sababu alikuwa ametoka kwa misingi kwa na witchcraft. Alienda na hiyo moto na kupitia yeye watu wameokoka. Uchawi na ilikuwa ni kama ni kama huko kwa audio inatengenezewa. Watu wameokoka kwa hiyo familia. Mambo ibabadilika. Yeye mwenye Mungu anamtumia. Ana Mungu anampatia very great prophetic gift. Me, lakini wakati huo akiomba na akikuja kanisani sana hako anajua there is a force that is beyond her that is compelling her to come to church to be in the service early to pray for hours na hiyo ikabadilisha maisha yake siku ya leo na kuombea upate kitu ambacho kitakuvuta kwa Mungu upende Mungu zaidi mpaka kile unahitamani kwake kizaliwe katika jina la Yesu do you know you can lack dedicate hata kusoma biblia kuna watu kuna kuna wakati unaweza shikwa na kitu unakuta you, you are like addicted to the reading the word of god unasoma mpaka unaamka usiku ku study the word of god unasoma mpaka unaona ni kama hujawahi soma tena unarudia tena unasikia ni kama ni kama kuna vitu zinaweko kwa kitu wakati unasikia that so much dedication unasikia you are so dedicated to it do it with all your heart kwa sababu that is the spirit of god leading you to do that na hiyo ndio utakuta nakumbuka kuna wakati niliokoka na wakati niliokoka nilikuwa napenda maombi sana na kusoma biblia sana wakati huo nilikuwa nilikuwa young i think i was in my nikiwa maybe in my early 20s na ninakumbuka hiyo kitabu niko nayo mpaka wakati huu nilikuwa naandika notes ninaandika notes nikisoma biblia ninaandika notes do you know some of those notes wakati mwingine ndizo huwa natumia 
kwa mahubiri. Wakati huo nikiandika hata sikuwa nafikiria kuna wakati nitaongea mbele ya watu wengi na sikuwa nafikiria that I'll ever share that word with anybody beyond maybe a, a brother or a sister. Lakini sikujua kwa nini Mungu ananiweka ufunuo mpaka nakumbuka siku moja nilikuwa naenda nyumbani. Kuna msana nilikuwa nime host kwangu amekaa karibu miaka miezi nani. Kila jioni ninaenda nyumbani na mwambie buka hapa chini. Niku I have I download vitu zile zinazikia kwa moyo. Namwambia ushaisoma hivi scripture ninamtomea ninamchukua nina ninamfungulia nina, nina scripture ninamwambia hiyo scripture wacha nikuambie mimi nimesoma hiyo scripture Mungu amenenenea kitu paka ananiambia sasa hivi umekuwa mhubiri wangu utakuwa una shida hapo ukinihubiria kwa sababu nilikuwa nasoma nasikia ufunuo ninasikia kabisa hii lazima niandike ama niambie mtu kwa sababu there is something a message that i'm getting i didn't know by then that god was preparing me even for a time like today my prayer for you may god give you so much dedication to something that is towards his kingdom katika jina la Yesu hivi unakuja lunch hour you never know where you'll be maybe there will be a time you'll be go, utaenda nchi ambayo inanga lunch hour kama hii ambayo uko na mtu anakuhubiria kila siku na pengine Mungu anakupatia deposits that when you shall be go there you are, when you shall go there you are the one Mungu anagojea kwamba utasaidia wale utakuta huko na kwa hivyo nawaambia siku ya leo May the spirit of God cause you to have so much dedication to his work in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that Saul that Paul was not even able alikuwa ana pursued watu waokoke. Praise the Lord. Na ninashukuru Mungu kwa hii evangelism team yetu. Kwa sababu hivyo wana pursued people mpaka wanaenda wanakubali Yesu. That is a dedication and that is a compulsion from the Holy Spirit. Siku ya leo ninaomba Roho Mtakatifu ashuke kwako afanye uombe watu ambao hujaokoka vile hujawahi waombea katika jina la Yesu I remember there was a time I was working in the hospital na nilikuwa na, na mission ya kuombea wagonjwa wa hospitali na kuona ya kwamba wameokoka na hata wakati nimeenda kuona mgonjwa nakumbuka kuna wakati nilikuwa naenda kuona mgonjwa tukiwa mgonjwa pengine is a, is a relative na tumeenda tukiwa family members wengine tukigojea hapo kabla vile watu fika hapo nje ya hospitali mnaanza kuongea stories zingine Nikuwa naona wana waste time nasema kabla wamalizane hapo wakacha hapo mambo ya familia na kiimbia na ingia ka ward dakika moja nenda niulize mtu wewe uko hapa ningetaka kukuombea umeokoka ukitaka nikuombea upone ninamuombea haraka haraka ninaona siwezi toka hiyo hospitali kama nimeona relative tu wangu mmoja na sija balance equation sijaombea mtu mwingine wawili wa tatu nilikuwa nakimbia watu wanashindwa kupatisha amenda toilet ama amenda wapi hajui ni best niki ni kwa ward niambia mtu aki Unajua Mungu ambaye anaweza kukutoa kwa kitanda na pia anaweza kukuokoa. Tafadhali unaweza nataka nikuombe tu tafadhali tu uokoke <laughs> kwa sababu naogopa nisichelewesha watu. Sasa na nimpasuede haraka haraka akubali bwana Yesu. Si kujua na wakati huo it's the spirit of God that was working upon my life. My prayer for you may you get so much upate kitu kama hii. Unasema mimi hata sijelewi kama nitapata shida ama nitapata mazuri lakini kuna mvuto na nasikia mkubwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible also says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 in the mighty name of Jesus I want you to say if I proclaim the message it's not to get something out of it myself. I'm compelled to do it and doomed if I don't. Do you see that? When the third servant of God again anasema I'm just I just proclaim the message and I'm compelled to do it and I'm doomed if I don't. Do you see? Hii ni Roho Mtakatifu huwa anafanya hii kazi. Praise the Lord. Mimi nawaambia siku ya leo Roho Mtakatifu ashuke kwako. Useme mimi nitafuata Mungu mpaka mwisho. Na kama sitamfuata I'm doomed not to follow him. Praise the Lord. Kuna wakati nilikuwa naambia Mungu naambia wa Mungu Ka, hata kama kama watu ambao huwa wanakufuata kuna shimo huwa wanaenda wanaanguka na wanapotelea hapo na hata waionekana mimi nitakufuata nianguke kwa hiyo shimo i don't mind falling into that pit if it is you the god that i'm falling i'm following praise the lord siku ya leo naomba roho mtakatifu awapatie desire ya kufuata mungu bila kuangalia nyuma katika jina la yesu if it will cost you following god it if it will cost you losing things that you love in this life let it be so praise the lord mimi naombea watu ambao pengine wameingia kwa kwa mahali ambapo unaona ukiendelea hapo uhusiano wako na Mungu utapotea i pray that it's better you lose that praise the lord for the sake of god katika jina la Yesu Kristo ningetaka tunapomalizia 
because our time is also going ningetaka tu pia tufunguliwe kwenye kitabu cha Acts 11 verse 24 i just want you to see these people that were compelled to do things by the spirit of god the bible says Acts 11:24 he was a good man that way and enthusiastic and confident in the holy spirit ways the community grew large and strong in the massa maybe you can put for us another version ambayo nataka uone vile biblia inasema biblia inasema for he was a good man full of the holy spirit and of faith and a great many people were added to the lord there is another version that says maybe i don't know whether we can find it but one thing i wanted to see the bible says here concerning a man by name balnabas na biblia inasema balnabas was a good man full of the spirit of the holy spirit and strong in faith and many people were brought to the lord do you know something wakati wote utafanya kitu when the holy spirit compels you unakuta ya kwamba kuna watu wengi sana wanavutwa kwako na unavuta watu wengi kwako biblia inasema huyu balnabas watu wengi pengi wele wanamjua ni mtu alikuwa mtu mzuri na alikuwa amejazwa na roho mtakatifu na kwa sababu ya hivyo watu walikuwa tu wanafuatana na balnabas Praise the Lord. Na kupitia yeye watu wengi wakaweza kuokoka. Do you know something? The spirit of God has so much he can do with you. Praise the Lord. Na mimi nawaombea siku ya leo may you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Maisha yako ibadilike kupitia Roho Mtakatifu katika jina la Yesu. Kama kuna kitu nasikia ugumu wake, ninaomba Roho Mtakatifu akuje kwako katika jina la Yesu. I pray for those that feel they want to serve God at some point in their life. Ninaomba usipate amani. I don't know whether that's a good judgment. Lakini ninaomba kama Mungu amekuita kutoka sasa let him start locate let the spirit of God start locating you. Katika jina la Yesu until you surrender. Useme mimi hiyo biashara ilikuwa inanipea mamilioni na mamilioni but for the sake of the the, the compel that I feel I have to nitachana na hii kazi. Katika jina la Yesu. I pray and I decree to somebody that amekuwa so hooked up in a place na naona hakuna mahali anaenda. Ninaomba Roho Mtakatifu akutafute mahali huko. Aseme I don't know how it will go but I just feel this is what I need to do. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I finish I just want you to see something. The Bible says in the book of 8 Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Kwa sababu ningetaka tu uone kitu pia and that is in the area of prayer. The Bible says I know this is a common verse that I like reading. The Bible says in the Holy Spirit and the holy spirit helps us in our weakness for example we don't know what god wants us to pray for but the holy spirit fr- prays for us with groanings that cannot be in- expressed in words i just wanted maybe to put for us an iv kwa sababu an iv huwa inaongea pia vizuri biblia inasema the holy spirit aha the the, the NIV and NKJV inasema likewise the spirit also helps us in our weakness for we do not know what we should pray for us for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered another area that the spirit of com- compel inaweza kuja ni wakati tunaomba biblia inasema ya kwamba roho mtakatifu ndio huwa anatufunza kuomba and when the spirit of god comes to you when you are praying you will not pray your wordings you will not pray what you have planned you will not pray 30 minutes you had planned to pray you'll pray like the spirit of god will lead you to praise the lord na siku ya leo ninaomba si roho mtakatifu ashuke kwako i don't know which vocabulary you had planned to pray with as you wakati ulikuwa unataka kuomba pengine ulikuwa misamiati huo unatumia wakati unaomba kuna vile huwa unaanza kama mtu mwingine najua siku anajua anajua kuomba ushaiona mtu tu lakini hajaipewa nafasi ya kuombesha ukiwa Ha siku moja mtu mwingine nikasikia amepewa opportunity ya kuombesha. Nikasikia kwanza alikuwa anaomba na kikuyu. Uwe. Anaomba ile maneno ile ya murugu. Ida wa mara homa ito. Anaomba anasema gai why the wit? Gai ida wito. He, twe mohuro alioa. Nitoa goeta. Uwe. Anaomba mpaka unasema uwe hata hujui kuomba na kikuyu. Alikuwa anaomba anasema muhuro waliowa. Tukiwa ninasema mpaka nafungua macho na polisi. Karibu nimuulize hii kikuyu ulijulia wapi? Anaomba hivyo. Mimi nakuombea hata kama unaombaga maombi kama hiyo. Mimi naomba Roho Mtakatifu akukamate. Katika jina la Yesu. Aharibu hiyo muhuro waliowa na hizo vitu zote. Uanze kuomba vitu ambazo hata watu wanashangaa. Uwe. Kwani unajua kuomba aje? 
katika jina la Yesu na si wewe ni Roho Mtakatifu na wakati kuna, kuna wakati huwa anasema tunapenda kuomba sana na huwa tunatamani kuomba masaa mengi lakini unajua binadamu peke yake hawezi omba masaa mengi nafikiri the la, dio Yesu alikuwa anauliza disciples you cannot even pray for even an hour an hour do you know why hawakuwa na roho sasa walikuwa na shangaa yani risali moja ni ngumu na Yesu anafanya kesha mzima anaomba usiku mzima praise the lord mimi nakuombea siku ya leo may you go beyond praying an hour uanze kuomba kesha mzima kupitia roho mtakatifu katika jina la Yesu the bible says that we are so weak when it comes to prayer but kuna force huwa ina push mtu wakati unaomba na biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati utaanza kuomba the spirit of intercession inaja na biblia inasema you shall not even know when you shall start groanings and when you shall not be able to utter any word because of what because there is a force that is compelling you to th- to say and to pray things that you had not prayed for that you had even not planned for that even yourself you don't know what you are praying katika jina la Yesu praise the lord siku ya leo nina haragani ya ile maombi umekuwa ukiomba na ninaomba kutoka sasa sasa ninaharibu ile saiko ambayo huwa naanza kuna watu ambao huwa naanza na worship naanza kusema na karibisha roho mtakatifu na sisemi ni mbaya kuna vile huwa unaanza haleluya haleluya hiyo ninaomba roho mtakatifu ashuke kwako katika jina la Yesu hata kuwa mbali ninaomba ya kwamba akupatie wasemi wakati utaanza kuomba uombe masaa mengi katika jina la Yesu na kwa hivyo nataka ujue hata wakati unapo unapotamani roho mtakatifu utamani ya ku compel in your prayer kuwe na force behind you that is that is just directing you to pray the will of God katika jina la Yesu this is one of my favorite verses na kila wakati nikiomba huwa na quote scripture huwa naambia Mungu i do not know how to pray Help me in my weakness. The Bible says nobody. Hakuna mtu anaweza kukupeleka class ya prayer. Akwambie 10 prayer not even prayer points. 10 models of prayer. Anakwambia ukitaka kuomba ni ombi tu moja tulionyeshwa vile tutaomba. And that prayer everybody knows it. But from there allow the Holy Spirit to take over your life because he's the best teacher when it comes to our prayer life. And so my prayer for you may God give you this spirit katika jina la Yesu kutoka sasa unaomba ya kwamba upate hii roho roho that you shall be so compelled to follow God you shall be so compelled to read the word of God that you shall be so compelled to preach to those that are lost that you shall be so compelled to pray for hours in the mighty name of Jesus that you shall be so compelled even to give you more time to ministry katika jina la Yesu that you shall be so compelled to seek God more and more in with more time in the mighty name of Jesus and also that you shall be compelled to do things that will bring advantages and profits to the kingdom of God katika jina la Yesu and that is my prayer for you katika jina la Yesu ningetaka uh, kwa dakika hii tuweze kusimama na miguu yetu because i know that God want to bless our life. Na kabla tusimame pia ningetaka kuambia watu wa online thank you so much for listening to that short word. Ukiwa tu hapo kwa kwa, kwa nyumba yako ama mahali upenye uko sahi. Ningetamani kama umependa hilo neno na pia kama umesikia hilo neno ni lako. Ningetaka tu pia uinue tu mkono wako juu kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu huwa hazuiwi na distance yoyote. The distance between you and him is just you are kufungua moyo wako kwake. Na kwa hivyo nataka ukiwa tu hapo nyumbani hata wakati tutakapotoka offline I want you to believe God that God can fill you with that power and from there let the driving force for you from now let it be the Holy Spirit katika jina la Yesu